In this uh, video, we will be discussing uh, ABRV, mode of ventilation or uh, airway pressure uh, release uh, ventilation. This mode is essentially used uh, as a recruitment uh, mode to improve oxygenation, especially in patients with ARDS. If you have this patient who has ARDS and he's already placed on volume controlled mode of ventilation with tidal volume of 420 flow of 30 liters per minute extended inspiratory time of 1.9 seconds at a rate of 12 per minute and peep of 12 centimeter of water now in order to make the chain the switch between uh, volume control mode of ventilation and ABRV, you need to notice what is the mean airway pressure provided with this mode of ventilation. And you can take a look on this number here. It is 25 centimeter of water as a mean airway pressure. So we'll take this to start our settings for ABRV. And we add five more centimeter of water to define what is the starting P high for the patient. So we'll start at 30 centimeter of water and then we'll decide for how long this 30 centimeter of water will be kept in inspiration. And we can say four to five seconds, maybe six seconds. So we give extended inspiration. So let's define it here at five seconds. And then we'll decide about the expiratory uh, pressure or the P low. The P low will be zero to release that pressure all the way to zero. And we'll define the expiratory time or the T low at 0.9 seconds. And let's start and see what we have. So P high of 30 centimeter of water, P low zero. That means the pressure goes up to 30 centimeter and then is released to zero. The inspiratory time or the T high is five seconds and the expiratory time or the T low or the release time is 0.9 second. Now this way you can see that the pressure goes up from zero to 30 centimeter of water at 0.2 second, which is the ramp. The inspiratory flow follows and volume goes into the lungs. This volume stays into the lung for the duration of inspiration and the flow reaches here zero. The patient can breathe on top of this pressure. And then after five seconds, the pressure is released all the way to zero and the patient exhales. Now notice that every time the patient is exhaling or that pressure is released, the flow goes to the peak expiratory flow and then decelerates. But notice that in this patient here, the flow goes down to, to goes up to zero. That means every time that pressure is released, the patient is de-recruiting. So you don't have any peep on this patient and every time you release that pressure, the flow goes all the way to zero. So that means you're emptying the lungs completely from the air. And you're leaving the, the lungs de-recruited. So this is something that a lot of uh, operators make as a mistake. And in order to correct this, you need to cut that expiratory flow at a value of 40 to 70% of the peak expiratory flow, so allowing persistent expiration at end, a persistent flow at end of expiration, persistent flow at end of expiration, which is auto peeping, so you do not de recruit the lungs. So, in order to do this, we need to go down on the T low, we'll go down to 0.7 first and see what we have. So with the 0.7 seconds of T-low, we're able to cut the 
expiratory flow at a value it looks like around 20% of the peak expiratory flow. So that's not enough because the uh, auto beep provided with this would be minimal. Of course, this is all only an estimation and we'll go to 0.5% and see what happens. 0.5 seconds. So now with 0.5 seconds of T low, the expiratory flow is cut almost at 40 to 50% of the peak expiratory flow. So now I'm more confident that the lungs are kept recruited, so we're not uh, emptying the, uh, the air outside the lung in every expiration. So in this mode, if we define the phase variables and the control variables of each breath, the control is pressure as the machine is intended to deliver the uh, P-high, but the trigger for that control delivery is time. Every five uh, and a half seconds will be a breath, which is actually the T-high plus the T low. So the T high is 5 seconds and the T low is 0.5 seconds. Every 5.5 seconds there will be a breath. So the trigger is time, the control is pressure and the cycle changing from inspiration to expiration or the release is also time after 5 seconds. The patient can breathe anytime here above that peak pressure. And if the patient uh, started to breathe, it will be his own tidal volume above that pressure. Okay. You can see here how the patient got a tidal, uh, got some flow here and increased the tidal volume above what is already delivered to the patient. So this is a brief description of uh, ABRV, how to set it and how to maintain it. If you started, if the patient started to get better and you want to wean, you can use this mode as a weaning mode. And essentially what you do is you extend the inspiratory time and you decrease the P-high gradually to convert this mode into a CPAP mode of ventilation. Thank you.